Happy Boxing Day, Audacious Church. My name is Jacqueline. I am part of our Manchester Central Campus and I have the privilege to bring to you today's devotion. So this week we will be looking at different characters and today we are looking at the gift of love. The perfect and fitting scripture for that is John 3, 16. I'll be reading from the NIV version. So let's begin. For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Wow. Christmas is a celebration of the greatest gift the world has ever known. And for me, these are the, the few reminders in John 3.16. John 3.16 reminds us that God's love is a gift. It also reminds us that God's love is free. It is free to us all who believe in him. God's love is, goes, goes beyond limits. Any limits we set ourselves as human beings and knows no limits. God's love is precious and it's perfect. It's not wrapped in expensive wrapping paper or gift bags. It's just perfect the way it is. And God's love is everlasting. It has no beginning. It has no end. It is always there. Uh, and also, Christmas is a beautiful reminder that love came to us, to, uh, to, to us uh, human beings. The creator entered his creation, stepping into our world to bridge the gap between God and humanity. Jesus, the Savior, was born to bring light to our darkness, hope to our despair, and everlasting life to all those who believe. Audacious Church, as we exchange presents in this festive season, let's not forget the ultimate gift of love. This Christmas, let's stop and reflect that 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 let's stop and reflect of on the love that was first shown to us by extending kindness, compassion and grace to those around us. Just as God selflessly gave his son, may our lives be marked by selfless love and giving to others and those around us, especially in the communities where we spend most of our times, our workplaces, schools, colleges, in, in our, in our uh, church community. And some of those people are actually with us in our, in our households right now. They are family. They are friends. Let's extend what the ultimate gift of love that was first shown to us. So as I went down, Audacious Church, I want to pray, to, pray, to pray for you or to pray with you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity for us to stop. The opportunity in Christmas for us to stop and reflect on your wonderful love. The love that you freely gave. The love that you selfly gave through the birth of, our, of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. As we celebrate with our family and friends, give us the grace to think of those in our communities who may not know you. Let us extend your love to them through our kind words, through our kind actions and compassion and in any other way that we can. Help us, Holy Spirit, because we can't do it on our own. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Audacious Church, for spending your time with me. Love you all and have a blessed day. Goodbye.